Oi. You sleeping in too late, my friend. They're just catching up on... <sighs> you look a mess. Let me, let me clean that for you. Thanks. I'm always right here. Thanks, Derek. What do you say if we go get something to eat? I hear Nicholas has something very special whipped up today. Come on. Yeah, that doesn't sound bad. Wait. Well, are you going to keep me waiting? Come on. <clears throat> Up an atom. Before I forget, you're still going to teach me how to swim, right? Yeah, of course. Kyler, the smell that permeates the main floor, the cooking, it is actually rather familiar and resemblant of Ledford's Tavern years ago. Seems some things don't change. You can hear Faye toiling away. It's all blending together. <clears throat> Sleep okay? Oh, great. Good morning. Hey, Faye. Good morning. Where's your father at? Um... Excuse me, to see me. I don't know if there's anybody <clears throat> else in the house. I'm sorry, I forget. He, uh, he, he, <clears throat> not doing too well since, you know, I don't think he's been staying here. Mm, I figured as much when I lost Lucy and I didn't want to eat or sleep that <clears throat> much either. Faye, Guess we... mm -hmm. where are we? Uh, <laughs> not us, where else? 
Just checking. For a moment, your eyes flicker. For a moment, you do not see Faye wearing robes. You do not see Lisa with a wolf pelt. For just a brief moment, Lisa is wearing a simple tunic. She's putting a plate down as though serving for it flicks back and she's scarfing down sausage and egg like a wolf. You are right. <clears throat> Just uh, tired, I think. Mm. 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 Well, if Tazim doesn't make it in, then I will. Um... Would you like something to eat? Oh, Miss Renoir, I didn't know you were here. Miss Wolf. I stayed the night after that scuffle. Tazim and um... <laughs> Sharik here allowed me to stay here for every when I can when I'm not traveling. It's good. It's that smell. Oh. Fresh bacon, eggs, some sausage that I had. Oh, Severick. Whipped the smells up. are familiar to you. You, you, know, what the, you, you know the smell of eggs and, mm. and, and, and mm. sausage. Mm. And yet it has... <laughs> it has such a pleasant sensation mm. to it. You, you can't quite put your finger on it. You don't really know that much about cooking or, 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 or flavors, all that fancy. <laughs> Hullabaloo, you usually only hear nobility talk about, but something about it makes you feel safe. <laughs> and it is such a wonderful scent. Do you think you'll be able to find those old schematics or drawings of your... It's nice. Of Tazim's old sword that he used to have? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Talking. Uh, yeah. Mm? Uh, mm. Just whenever you can. You want them... I just need to be able to give it to that dwarf. Do you want them drawn up? Uh, uh, if I could, at least the measurements of everything. Hilt yeah. with <clears throat> whatever, an whatever another armor smith would need to as a guide. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay. Um, Miss Venora, do you have any, uh, uh, any that isn't being served to people? Any leftovers? No, oh, you can have them. I'll take them. Go ahead, don't be Tizim? shy. Sit down. Tazim's not here right now. I'll whip him up something later if he gets hungry. <laughs> Alright, just don't worry, you know. belong to him. Don't worry, I'll buy, I will buy them for food, trust me. It'll be fine. No worries, give me one moment and I'll get you something to drink. I'll get you some water. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm feeling better. A little bit more. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. That's really good. Oh. Well, thank you. Food. Usually stuff like it is much different. Here's she's some water. Hello, Mr. Tang. Mm -hmm. Hello, Tang. Good morning. Um. Mm. Oh. That's usually what he goes for when he makes something for himself. Okay. 
I'll put that in my basket. Um, about last night, uh, Soma had some disturbing things to say that I really think we need to have that big meeting about. Yeah, um, <clears throat> tell me when and where. As soon as possible, not at, we've been waiting too late at night and things have happened and let's just say time is up to now three days. If we don't do something, something bad will happen. Uh, yeah, I'm free now. We just need to find the... Uh, try the tavern for Tazim. It's very good, Miss Fanor. Mm, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you're very welcome. Mm. Mm. You're right, Shriek. <laughs> you look deep in thought. Hmm? You look deep in thought, everything all right? Yeah. I was just thinking. Oh. <clears throat> when we have uh, a moment, just you and I, and uh, Lisa, I want to show you something. I want to ask you a question about it. Sure. Yeah. Before I use it for something else, I want you and Tazim to really look at it, see if it means anything. <clears throat> yep. Because once I use it, it's non seeable anymore. Because I gotta crush it down to use in making what your what Tazim would want it, which is a major healing potion, and it takes a rare viscera. And I don't want to destroy the rare viscera quite yet because I think he would find it interesting. Okay. <clears throat> It's Renard. Who's Miss Lisa? I haven't met them. Are they someone else? Oh, yes. A friend of mine. Sorry, I tend to forget. That's cool. Uh, Hope I get to meet him someday. Nice to meet new they're... people. No, they're always traveling. Oh. My arm's feeling a bit better. <clears throat> That's good. Got a little sore, but I can move it better. Maybe not raising it above my head and drawing my arm around, but, you know, I can do more things. Everything's coming up uh, well. Or healing wise. Uh, uh, so what do we have to do today? Um, I'll have to check my notes. Right. 
go ahead and uh, start the forging. You know. <clears throat> okay. I guess I don't need this thing anymore. I need to talk to Mr. Hopper at some point. Shriek, right? Oh, Mr. Sainis. Hello, Severick. Just here to pick up my order. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Over here. You need me to find Last it? I remember it was just my sword and my bayonet that just needed some fixing. Sharpening. <whistles> Not bad. Well, yeah, Not bad at all. Um, forgive me for asking, but by chance do you have any paper lying around? Um, paper. <coughs> I'm gonna do a quick quality assurance test. <coughs> Doubt my Not quality. Not that I think you're trying to swindle me out of anything, but you know. Oh. Ah. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> been a long time since this sword's been this sharp. Well. I do thank you. Thank you a lot. <clears throat> um, it was one silver, right? Yeah. Well. For such a quality done good... For such a good job... I'll give, us, I'll give you a silver 15. Thank you. Well, that's oh. kind of you, Mr. Sanders. Never been. I try my best. Well, take care then, Shriek. Hope you have a good day. So did you want me to go around looking for people? <clears throat> you said time was of the essence, no? Mm, I Yes. But also I need to find someone and see how he's doing. Because it was a long night and I collapsed in there after I went inside. I was so tired. Yeah, just uh, let me know when. Is there anything you need? Okay, I'll go, about, I'll go out and about, these? and I'll see if I can find Selma first. Yep. Need blacksmith apprentice. That's me. Would you happen to know where uh, Marcus is? The blacksmith suggested we find him here. <clears throat> I haven't seen him today, no. You're not going to break his arm, are you? Quiet. Give me but a moment. No, we are investigating uh, break-ins, and the blacksmith suggested he seen something suspicious last night. I haven't seen him today. I've only just come out. Um, Excuse me? He lives around the corner there, though. Is that you, Mr. Baldwin? You can knock on his door and see if he's around. Oh, yeah. Hello, Very well, thank you. How are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm just gonna check. Well. I'm helping around the forge more. It's good. Keeping yourself busy is 
If an Imperial comes by, I'll uh, take him off your hands, lad. He wants to speak to me for some reason. I don't want to keep him around too much for the sake of dizzying. Yeah. But, uh... I... On a lighter note, I managed to actually get some orders done. Just That's looking good. to see if I can't find the two recipients. One of them being Veseran. I'd rather not go traipsing all around town trying to find him. And the other one is a mercenary that I have yet to see this morning. Um, and some gloves. Okay. Uh, I can find Veseran for you if you want. I think I need to talk to him anyway about some stuff. I'll send if you to catch you. him, let him know that I'll got his order. <clears throat> I've said to his partner as well, if he catches him ahead of me, simply for the fact that I am not really in a position to go running around. Yeah. <clears throat> now stay off your feet. Uh, Mr. Morton, how oh, is that uh, stick? It's already it's just doing its job. Uh, I gave one to Mr. Uh, Vesmaria last night. <clears throat> Lad. Quick moment. Hmm. I know this long beard has many, many objectives for today that his attention is squared a lot, a lot of different places. But as I just told him, I just got word of a merchant uh, north of the road towards the inn selling well, supposed to be fairly expensive, but they actually find steel bars as well as iron and. I believe a few brass bars. And, uh... I kind of wished... I wish to go take the long bit up to myself to take them before the merchant is, uh, is done selling them. <clears throat> you want me to come with you? Uh, that is up to you, but... Uh, I don't want to miss this opportunity, especially for the long bit's sake. Yeah, I mean, talk to him, see if he wants to, and I'll come with you if you want. He's keen on getting his other objectives done before he heads out. <clears throat> but, like I said, I don't want to miss the opportunity. Well, I mean... If he wants to get it, he's gonna go get it, I suppose. I suppose. Um, <clears throat> well... When he does go and you wish to join us, uh, I, sh I can confine you. Yeah, sure. That works. Looks like he's d finishing up with one of his orders now, so he might be free in a little bit. Just uh, come find me. I shouldn't be too uh, hard to find. Of course. Well, thank you for your time. Of course. You okay? Uh, yeah. People are just being weird. Yeah. Yeah, sorry for disappearing like I did. It's okay, I figured I you to, uh... had to do your stuff. How are you feeling? I am... Um... Okay. Just okay? I just don't think I've been sleeping very well. I feel a little, uh... <clears throat> hazy, I guess. It's probably because you're sleeping at your desk. At least the last time I saw you, you were... Yeah, I got caught up with stuff, I think. Hmm. I see. Well, hopefully tonight will be easier on your sleep. If you need, I can, um... 
read to you or something. <laughs> I do have books that you probably don't know anything about. <laughs> I, uh, struggling to remember the things you talked about yesterday. I don't mean to be, you know, a pain, but it sounded pretty important. I talked to Cade later as well, and he was vague on a few things. <clears throat> Looking good, Vezrin. Thanks. I've... Chainmail. Mm. Well, I'll leave you to your I'm going to be giving him... <laughs> I'm going to be giving him a piece of my mind later. Kate, not Vezrin. <sighs> yeah. If he even shows up. Hmm. As for what happened yesterday, I can go over it with you again. I know I was um, a bit out of it. Still angry. Right. Should we go somewhere? Hmm. I don't mind where, just somewhere where people won't interrupt us. Your place. Um. No, it's a mess. All right. Uh. Um. My place, then. Hmm. You almost seem like you don't want to be home. I don't blame you, if that's true. You have plenty reason to, um... Uh, Tazim's in inside, if you need to talk to him. We can go to the roof. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, it's... Hard. I don't know. Red-haired bitch that uh, appears. Her, right? You're involved with all that too. Our uh, dead friend Risa, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, and how she appeared last night, right in front of me and Basil and Soma. This I was unaware of. I think Soma wants to have a meeting with everyone yeah, today. That's why this morning. He seems pretty adult. That's why we're here. Oh, okay. We can go over it later. But can we wait to meet here. <laughs> in, in our hostel. I'm about to At least it smells good in here. Hostels usually don't. The Nora was doing cooking, actually, this morning. <laughs> That's why it smells familiar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you eat breakfast, Shurik? Um... No. Venora offered me some. And he didn't eat it. Oh. Why did you not eat your food? Well... Uh... Actually, I, uh, wasn't I very hungry this morning. You? If you don't mind. Not a problem. I was thinking about I'm some... Dinner in the very voice has been returned to yeah, the I'll gods. have my appetite by then. I just... I... Well, you of course Good. know we need to speak to the nobility and the barons. What about you, sir? Have you eaten? If we can even get up that far. No, and I won't eat until Kyla does. I mean, Shariq. I feel like it would send a much stronger message for... Yes, I will no make sure she I don't herself. have connections that high up. I'm not sure if you do, but... And do you love a worker? It 
something I can attend to. Uh, I haven't managed to eat no, yet. Uh, normally I grab a meal with Vez, but yesterday he knocked without me, so. I didn't eat yet. Chat, roll a d20. It's alright. I am. No one's angry with you. I keep seeing Ledford. Like in your dreams? Or something? When you sleep? Yes, but also... There's moments of... And I'm back. The smell of the food was... Like the tavern. Uh, thank Does you. it feel strange? Or? I don't know. Faye wasn't cloaked or anything, she was normal, and Lisa was serving food, and... I don't know where I am. You're here with us. I just keep forgetting We'll figure that out. Thank you, then. It's all right. You are one simple drow who's been thrown into a lot of unfortunate events. Some things you probably never should have experienced. It could be having an effect on you. <clears throat> he still talks to me. No, but if we can get a meeting with them, he at woke least me up this morning. Recognize the danger. We can start preparing this town for what is to come, and hopefully, we won't have to rely on them. Do you think it's real, or is the door unlocked? do you think it's going along with what you're experiencing? Okay, I guess it is. I have no idea. All right, good. They're here. I'm gonna bring the others in here. Okay. All right. I just feel so. In two places at once, I guess. Look at me. You are Kyla and Hot. She whispers. That is all you need to worry about. You are here with me and your father. We're going to be alright. I can stay with you and. Try to see if there's anything strange when you sleep. Doesn't have to be in your room. We can go somewhere else. The roof. The beach. A hole in a cave, I don't know. Anywhere. You need to sleep, and you need to eat. You're hurting yourself. And that hurts me. Okay? Sorry. No, don't apologize. I know you're not doing it on purpose. Where'd the longbeard go off to? But we gotta take care of ourselves. Give me a minute. Yeah. Okay. Good. <sighs> now, I'm going to see if I have time to go grab us an orange. Okay. In the kitchen. If you see Vezer and drag him here. I think they're at the merchant's yeah. guild with Markle. Morning. He looked a bit busy carrying around his fancy new equipment. Well, yeah. if you want to be present, you're just as involved as anybody. Well, if you want my help, I need to know things. Yes, <laughs> we do. Where is Tazim at? 
Shriek. He went upstairs. <clears throat> Do you want me to get in? Uh, sure. You're up here. <laughs> this big house still isn't big enough. I can uh, try to find Vezrin real quick. I'll pull him in here. Wait for you I saw Marco outside of the Merchant's Guild. I assumed, you know, with them constantly being together. Yeah. I'll be here right next to him. All right, I'll, I'll be quick. Sure. Be down in just a moment. Sure. So, so to give this some time to get here. In this direction, from the near future. Uh, is oh, there's Ocean. <laughs> you didn't see behind the pillar. Uh, I right. made sure to grab him. Mm. Yeah. After we're done with this meeting, I'll stop by and pick up those potions so I can deliver them. Um, now the bone mini one's gonna go to Vezrin's shop, like I promised them, because they want to start stocking some of those. So. Of course. I need you Let me know if uh, what funds need to go to you and Miss Original expectations. Oh, enough with the help. Uh, of course. And I'll Thank you. After this, I'll be leaving to go gather more. The <laughs> this morning. Oh. Okay. The okay. Unless, of course, anything further needs to be discussed. I request of you mm. to use our limited time in a different manner. It always is quiet in here. Is many people? Yeah. I think the air is pretty heavy. Hmm. Um, when I go herb gathering today, El, um, I'm just gonna follow along the river path. Yeah. On the far side, so because of orcs been on that trail too much, that I like to go pick it up. Good idea. Just to find out everything if you don't you not mind, Venora, would you take me with mm -hmm. you? I'm a silver lake family. <laughs> sure. Specifically, Thank you. I don't mind. Hmm. What about Basil, if I may ask? Is she still in front of the door? The status of its patrons. Yes. I just spoke of the young lass. She's outside now before you take action. <laughs> if it is possible, she's adamant, she's adamant not to get too involved, but... She's one of the targets, so I didn't know how preview of the information you want her of. It's a question, does it? Someone I consider my friend. Who owns that family? As am I. I found vast. What's the extent, does she not? Oh, thank you. Yeah, she knows a vast extent of what's going on because she's seen it firsthand. Right. No, no, not that. Benora. What? Oh, Sorry. Not that. Mm -hmm. We're just waiting for to see him to come downstairs. 
This is quite the gathering, and I can understand why. She has some time, Desri. She is in Speak to Lauren sometime. I mean, <sighs> that. speak to Tizim sometime. Um, <sighs> he reminds me of how I felt Maybe when I lost someone start. close to me. Right. Cutting out a little bit. Let me say again more. I think it, <laughs> it may be something to bring up at the start, considering. Um. Nothing like a icebreaker, then, I suppose. Mm. The, uh, the emerald, do you think it'll, uh... Um, going to try I don't mess anything with the die. No. Did they give you the ruby, too? Not yet. Alright. Mm -mm. I'm good. Talk to them, then. Because if it works for that, maybe it would work with... I think he's all right. I can see about it too. Because I don't know. Oh, it is his guy. Uh, untested water. Tizzy is upstairs. I still have some notes, and after all, I did manage to <coughs> open one. He's probably okay. Well, I'm just getting ready, I guess. Today to see what might have been left behind by him. If we need to, if okay. any something good. Mm. Mm. The question is if Dive Mine and the Archways about how they could use hope. No, we hope we get some answers today. I don't know. All right. Wonderful. Like I said before, uh, Shriek, before we leave here, I'd like to speak with you and your father alone. Yeah. The thing I wanted to show you. Yeah. See if it means something. It's just funny. What is? This is the most kin I've been around in decades. <laughs> <laughs> Even including your little trip. There's a ruin assembled that needs to be for this. Yes, including that. Uh, other than mm -hmm. the miss, the lady that's been threatened directly, um, the one that. Basil is, very is close outside. To Selma. Basil. Shouldn't she be in here? Her. That's what I want to ask first. Uh, How much can this woman be trusted? Here. I've never heard of her before in my life. She dies in three days, either way. My point remains. How so much can you Jesus. trust her? She knows that how to keep a secret. <laughs> well, Maybe wait to hear what we have you know to say I'm first. I know she reports to somebody, so I don't know if it's a good idea. The real answer is no, we cannot fucking trust her, but we would be responsible for her death if we don't prepare her. Them, rather than having them here and explain something to us, that's why I asked. There's a reason why I do the things I do. You of all people should know that. Mm. Now what is it? Why are we here? Okay, so to start things off, as you know, we've been working on the blood. I told... No, I, I didn't know that. What blood? Soma's blood. To find out the length, the why the hive mind can speak to him and him alone. To see if we could come up with something that can finally counteract and finally complete what Goldrick left off. Complete the potion that could cure people, that could stop it. But in doing so, she made an offer to him. If she were to, if he were to get the two vials back, she would divulge secrets of the hive mind and other things to him. So the plan was for him to take two more vials of his blood, keep them on him, and use those as he got them back, if to see if the ruse would work. But of course, it's that it intelligent, didn't. is it? Yes, very. 
much snow. Well, we, we can obviously assume that's a lie. Everyone in this room knows that. It would never aid in a bet. Why? Soma. Come on, Soma. It's Has she like ever said. harmed you physically? Just curious. Has she ever put her freaky hands on you? Cut your skin? No, she has not. The thing is, is what she told me about why I was so special, and you were not there last night. You probably have seen me just crazy. But she told me that I was already a dead fucking walking corpse. Ever since I was first infected. But I had no symptoms, nothing changed other than the fucking voice that was in my head. She and showed me lie. something. She used one of the vials that we tried to use for that plan that we've... Mm. Me and Venora both conducted. And she somehow, I don't know what, but she had another blood vial. Healthy, red, clear blood. I mixed them both as she told me. And that blood quickly got infected quicker than even those fucking things from just a few nights ago <laughs> we so kept giving each other questions we kept mm. we kept giving each other questions we kept giving each other answers the one thing that she fucking told me threatened to me to ask myself of how long I have been dead I have never heard words like that be told to me in my entire life to be told that you are dead is not something to be taken lightly <laughs> I don't know what this means or if anything of the given such she kept saying your blood our arts wi wait no blood our arts wait. we heard that before didn't we am I remembering correctly yes Oh, she couldn't mean that, could she? I so think she meant that literally. Before we freak ourselves out, you said there were people mm. looking at your blood. Who was? My mother at the time and Miss Eleanor. Miss Elena was both of them. Yes, I was waiting for a moment to discuss the hair nuts. To verify, if anything, that she's not lying. What? On her notes, your blood is not like anything of human. It's vastly thicker. It's darker. It's almost similar to a syrup or tree sap. Hardly something that would be pumping through your body, or any one of our bodies. It spreads incredibly fast, as you said. Anything exposed mm. to this, in but a mere seconds, begins to turn the same shade. Elen refer referred to it as if it was in limbo, as if it didn't know whether today was to be alive or dead. That was mm. from her words, exactly. She tested it with two things. The first was fire. When we burned it, the scent was, as we explained to, almost like wet soil, rot. As if you were looking underneath an, uh, an old log that had been sitting for years, dying. It shortly hardened afterwards. Mm. And I'm sorry, but this is written, Soma, that she yeah. believes that you are a marionette. She believes that the mimicry of these creatures has come to a point that it is seamless. And that is from her words as an expert. 
That is an assumption Second. we cannot possibly know that. When, exactly when did you get the elixir? Should I even say the name of said such place? We know where, but when did you get it? The events that took place there. The very first time that we first saw the invasion of these fucking things. The very first time after the aftermath. And I was the very last one to get it, but I didn't feel nothing. I didn't feel anything. The next day, I just heard that fucking voice in my head. No symptoms, nothing. That was the only change that I had. <sighs> There's also something else. Question, I'm checking, does he have a heartbeat? Rolling. <clears throat> With the three of Anor, it's hard to tell. His chest is rising and falling from his heavy breathing. He seems incredibly <laughs> frightened. You just cannot tell at this moment. I'm too nervous. I can't tell if you have a heartbeat or not. I sit down, take some breaths. <sighs> Wait, there's something else that I need to say. This morning, it happened again. That sleepwalking shit. All the way back then, the same exact fucking thing happened. But this time, something was different. It definitely... I had blood in my hands. I don't know if it was mine or if it was someone else's. Or some things. Can read the rest of the report if you so wish. You might as well. The second that we tested your blood with, Soma, was an antifungal. When we applied it, the scent dissipated. It wasn't as strong. Hardly could even smell it, and the darkness didn't begin to fade. It turned to a dried blood color. It was hard to describe. It was a very odd reaction that we weren't expecting. Mm. Elen believes that if we were to cure you by any normal means, it would only mean your death. You would die. <laughs> she, however, believes that she could come to making an antibody of a kind. But she only can speculate with that. And the amount of time that she even remotely speculates how long that would be it's far, excuse me, far more than three days. I don't know. You said you were trying to fix uh, the... What did you call it? Uh, Goldrick's elixir? To finish it? Yes. With yes. that cure, but... Soma? I don't know. That's what... The way Goldrick explained it, he tried before, and he... The way he phrased it was the key to solving his elixir to finishing it was... Oh, gosh, what was it? What was the statement he made? Let me look it up in my book. It's the one that stuck out that maybe turned to Soma in the blood in the first place. Because how he gave me... A clue that led me to Soma and wanting to check him because of how it was phrased. He said right here, despite my travels, I unfortunately was forced to make attempts to redesign the elixir.
it did not quite do as I had hoped. With the changes and alterations to the creatures of the Maclium, which I don't know what er, that could be, creatures of Mycelium, it often tried to actively actively find ways to force its way around or past the results of the elixir itself. After the fall of Dozan, uh, I realized that the effects were only suppressed, not dormant or destroyed. It was a horrible realization and fueled the need to undo the damage done by the hive mind. In time, my hope was to prepare the entirety of the world for what was the possibility. Should things born of the darkness spite crawl their way to the cracks of the sunlight, there was a way, but for now I knew it to be true. It was never gone, merely waiting. Though there are some who had a, the solution, it was right under my nose. The answers disguised as a victim and possibly impossible enemy. How did I not see it sooner? And that's what led me to him. Possibly disguised as a victim. But also might be considered an enemy. Possibly an enemy. But also mm. as recently, I come in contact every once in a while with him. So I wrote down in some notes I left behind in the grove for him, asking the question. Where does the hive mind actually its origins, and what does the archways have tied to it? When it's opened incorrectly, is it because me and Vezran feel nothing from her, yet she disappears and reappears, like it's something akin to what certain people we've seen before do it, but it was magical in nature. This was not. And I won't know until I get back to where I belong to see if those notes were left behind and answered. So I can't tell you. There was a point in time when we had returned to that place. We had found ourselves surrounded in that same room that we had burned of fungal flora so many years ago. We were surrounded by those larger creatures that looked like they had flails for arms. Twenty, thirty, maybe forty. There was no way we would have fought our way out. It let us pass. It told them to move aside. I don't understand that. I still don't know why it happened. And I don't remember the words it spoke. But it had us dead to rights, even though we had fought through everything we had up until that point. I don't know why. I have no idea why. From my experience in that same thing, it was almost like it was trying to welcome us in. And for me, never being there before, that was definitely a strange response. It let us in and let us out. Why? I have no idea. Just as the smith has said. It might be tied to what you said, Soma, what she said. I don't understand any of it. Our blood is the blood their archways. Our archways. What if, again, what if she meant that literally? Well, that would mean that we're all carriers. Which we already no know. No one's been infected since we got here, though. Been suppressed. Which is true. Which might only I... be because of the elixir. We thought it was a cure back then. Mm. Yeah. We believed that we were in the clear afterwards, and we found out that wasn't the case after what happened to those mm. graves. After they came back. 
In theory, if we all were to die right now, the very same thing would happen to us. Knock, knock, knock. <sighs> thank you, thank you. So either that means we're not a threat until we expire, or it's been nullified. But I think given from what we understand and what we've seen from the Alexa and our friends, that is not the case. The threat remains. I have a question for you, Smith. Just a curiosity of mine. Have you any in your party that were infected that were not transported by an archway afterward? That doesn't count us because are... we had to use one to escape. I'm not sure. Every single one, at least from the story I'm hearing here, all of us were infected and used an archway. That's correct. What's the relevance? I don't know. Your blood, our archways. I think it's more speaking as the way that Venora has said, like a contagion. I think it's more specific. Well, might be, but... Like what? Our. What are you thinking? Archways. The hive mind is speaking for itself. It wants to take them. It wants to spread. That's what it's doing now. It's spreading. It's already had them. Remember. Has it? We heard when we were still in the capital. That both the Imperials and the Erlandi army were surprised by seeing them on the surface had cut through both of them at Bedaria. Led by that thing. No one knew how they got up there. You remember? Yes. Well, then we found out they made their way to Kogovia. And they were only held by that tribe. And they almost escaped where that archway was. They already have them. And what's worse, they do have two infected beings on their side that Mother saw exit an archway at that location. One that knew how they were activated and used, and one that could cast magic herself. Mm. That's why. I, that's why I thought the one oh, that was attacking and disappearing was. I thought she was in fact or was brought back to life by her reason why I thought that's why she could vanish but me and Vezran don't feel anything from her so that means she wasn't that means she was then it's gonna be something else why is well, it to protecting keep us from talking him? in circles uh, I don't mm -hmm. think it's protecting him I think his blood clearly holds some key it does not want us to have his blood it's going as far as to threaten our lives over it I think Benora's onto something. So what do we do going forward? Yeah, that's the question I had because Soma has stressed to me several times and times again he's willing to sacrifice himself with her to kill her, but I don't want to go that route. There's got to be some other way. What if she just wants him? She could take There's him. There's also a question because none of us... She could not only take him, but she could take any of us. Mm. I don't understand. That's the thing. This is so fucking strange. Why do we fucking doesn't... ask her? I did. Have we tried that? Yeah. Have we tried maybe not talking to Risa, but talking to the thing that's obviously piloting her corpse? It wants <laughs> us to believe it's Risa. I don't fucking care what it wants. Well, the reason why I can tell you that is because a certain someone that I know is close to the woods felt Reese's actual soul is not tied to that body whatsoever that's walking and talking. 
I think it's obvious. Been... Yeah. Let's throw that out right now so everyone's on the same page. That is not okay. our friend. At no, all. No, it's not. That is a mockery it's... of what we once knew. Right. We already know I they agree. use their memories. I cannot let it get into your head. It cannot allow it to make you hesitate. Do not listen to it. Hmm. I think the next steps are clear. I don't think that's always the case. We need to destroy uh, it. And figure out what's in Summer's blood. But why is it here? Why did nothing else come? Why is it just them? Yeah, they're Why after is it something. only it? This the is what I'm closed shortly after, didn't it? Is that the only way to... over here? I don't know. I don't know either. Well, we need... I could not tell that. That is also... beginning to Soma. worry me. I'm about to ask you a question. And it is very important that you answer truthfully. Every time that it has ended up puppeteering your body, where was your mind? Back by the cave, what happened beforehand? I could not remember. Same thing here. The only thing that I remember is being in Marcus's room at that night when he gave me and Basil some place to at least sleep and calm ourselves down. That's the only thing that I remember, and it's been the same like that since the past. I wish I could try and figure more out to give you. That is what I wanted to know. I think that she is trying to mess with you because the least of your mind is inside of your head whenever you are distressed, afraid. You were on the verge Soma. of a mental break last night. Soma. <laughs> when is the last time you heard the hive mind? The last time I heard of it. Last time I heard of it. If I can only recall... During that huge battle back at Erelin. Right before we left the capital. I... I was trying to get me to do something, but I resisted as much as I could. Do what? I wanted to move my hands. I did not know what this was. The only time or last time that it ever spoke to me was when it warned me about the Rat Men. What did it say about the Rat Men? It said that it knew that that capital was going to fall long before, and I was the first one to know about it, that which it told me. That everything would burn was it to amused? the ground and it wouldn't even be them. Very amused. If but I didn't find it amusing at all. You haven't heard the hive mind since you were back in Araland. Does that mean it needs Risa to talk to you? Maybe it can't reach this far by itself. I've thought about that, but I think we're not on the right road. Is Risa attached to it still? Think. He has not heard it since we've come this far. So you think his manipulation well, we doesn't do... reach this far? Risa is acting alone. That is what I'm saying. What if it's acting of its own volition? It's not connected. For what? I have no idea. If but she is has independence, Anara, you have not heard it since. It's a possibility, is what I'm saying. 
I mean, you said sure. somebody sensed us all. Before our dent sends Risa soul. Right? Do they sense him? I don't know. I've never asked. Never even brought the question. That's a good question. What question? You didn't ask that question before or after. You didn't have to hear it. If Risa works on her own now, for whatever reason, it would explain what's going on in the neighboring town. What is still going on. Very close to us. Well, She's causing trouble. Mm. Mm. It makes me think of you what... You speak of Corona. Uh, yes, and the mm. hundred dead that come out of their town. What? Are you not aware, any of you? Yeah, there were people killing themselves at the front of the gate. There's an outbreak of something. What? Soma is very aware of this. Mm -hmm. There's been an outbreak in a neighboring town, a merchant town, Carano. Apparently there's dozens dead. There was a hundred that lived there, at least. The survivors came here seeking refuge. They died in the clinic. Black but they came back to life as the bodies were being removed. Mm. And they started and attacking voice. each other. No, 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 no. no. And I, Soma I said. This. Soma said that their eyes resembled Reese's. That's why I connect them. Right. That's why I say she's causing trouble somewhere, so... And the worst but... thing about it... The worst thing about it is this. We have only few of them that were injured back from the town all the way up to the third floor. Have you Love seen them at all? His best to try Wait a minute. To figure them out. Have you been up there at all, Soma? Have you put your eyes on the individuals that came, that were injured? Yes, I did. And the last time that I looked, that they were healthy and fine. But within the next day after, the surgeons told me something that would make my heart drop. They started to see those same veins on the infected corpses. And so far, from as of right fucking now, especially from what I've seen back in the past... Shit, I don't think you even know. That some of you don't even know what I what I saw last time, did you? <sighs> like then when we were at that war. Me, Marcus, and oh, shit, it's been a while. I can't remember his name. We did something stupid to try and get more medical supplies. We literally dressed ourselves up in their armor and went to one of their camps to see if we could try and figure out if we can get any medical. We succeeded, but then I saw these priests, ta almost as ta tall as a Bjorni, and, and as well as some of the few Inquisitors that we know of, and one of them was holding a fucking vial that resembled that infection, told me about it right in front of me. I have been so fucking careful to not try and say anything especially at the infirmary this infirmary but the, the, and because of that the way that we know that the, these things do we mm. were told that their their teeth start to grow and grow outwards and several other rows and their eyes mm. go a milky white i've never that seen veins like of ever. black ichor that doesn't sound like anything we've ever encountered before the last time yes, I heard right. anything about Black Icker was Orc Poison. But I don't think this mm. is the case. Mm. But... But even with that, they rose back up just exactly, or if not similar, at the least, to what that infection was. Wait, so you're saying... You're saying that an Imperial Inquisitor or Priest had something that does this back... In Ireland? I had no idea, but they had them at one of their fucking camps. And I... 
I don't know exactly what they were trying to plan to do. Maybe even use it as a fucking weapon. And okay, that's what scares me the most. And terrify ourselves. We're not even going to speak about whatever's happening in Karana. That's not mm. here. I want to circle back to what you're talking right about. Is Risa. Mm. What resembles Risa? I it keep hearing you say you have three said. days. Why is that? Mm. Repeat that. That's when she's going to start killing days. people. Mm. No, she's going to kill Basil. Basil. She's not going to stop with Basil. Why was she going to kill someone? What was the reason given? She wants me to get those vials that you had. She wants the vials back of his blood. And she knows it. Also, it goes to what you were saying, though. It makes me think of when the hive mind acts like a a colony, almost like Hopper's bees. When a bee goes away from the queen, it kind of has a mind of its own. It doesn't have no direction. No guide. Yes, but it seems incredibly intelligent for something that stumbled off on its own. So I'm not exactly mm -hmm. sure if what I've even said is accurate. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to understand why this mm -hmm. is so different. If it has anything like the hive mind. Before it left? There is a big point that we're all missing here. How did it get here without following us? Wait, wait. Hmm? Wait. What if it sent Risa here to make more connections? Didn't need your blood to do that. Like roots in the ground. You're like an infection, a walking one, a living one. Well, we can verify Isn't that. You tried to give it blood before, right? Did it take it? You tried to give her blood already. She got you tried mad. to trick her with it a wasn't vial of the right blood. One. Did she take it? What do you mean? She it was did. wasn't the right one. And she so she had your blood. What really quickly, when you... Place? When you gave her the blood, was that before she disappeared for a few days and then came back only a couple days ago? No, this was last night when I gave her those two vials to try and see if I could at least convince her to go the fuck away or something. Like from what we planned from before. But so you did give her your blood? Yes. And she denied it? Yes, because she knew it wasn't the ones that we were holding in the alchemy shop. It's less that she wants the blood, it's more that she doesn't want us to have his blood. Why if she, does which she, means... Is she so protective over your blood being in anyone else's hands? Did she say anything? I feel like it's very clear. Cure. Exactly. Did she say anything to you? No other than the fact of what she told me about me being fucking dead. <sighs> she said Did she say anything about open. wanting that blood? Anything related to that? The only thing that she told me of her wanting that blood, her reason, is just so that none of you could drain all of my blood to kill me for it. That's what she fucking thinks. She's trying to say as if that she's trying to protect me. Sense. She doesn't want the blood for herself. Disguising it as Reese's love. Why would we drain but your blood if we don't have a use for it? Because apparently, from what he just said, she refused what he offered. Yeah, she did. She didn't. Is there nothing else she said? To I you? only said that like three or four times. It's cool. I, <laughs> Jesus, these fucking meetings. Wish that there was more. Well, there has to be. You need to speak to her again, and you need to ask her these questions. I have a few but in the meantime, is our plan to kill her still the same plan as it was? We only have three days. Three days is a window of time to try and figure out her motives a little more. Once she's destroyed, if this even works, we'll never know. 
I want to know if something's coming. If this is preparation for something else. Coming. I might just have figure it out. Some is what I'm saying. I might have some ideas in that regard, but you're not going to like them. You, where were you when you fell asleep last night? Where do you remember falling asleep? I was at Marcus's place. And I was with and Basil you at the end... time, at that moment. Where precisely did you end up? In the have you investigated fields. anything about... Have you investigated anything about the blood that was on your hands? No, I... my mind... I... I couldn't tell if it was my blood or someone else's. If anything, Wait. that's what I'm still trying to figure the fuck out. You're losing so... consciousness? And moving around? And that's been because on your own. Ever since back then. He did this back in Adwick. Hmm. And... In that very regard, lads, it might be possible to induce him to walk. And we follow that. Not a good idea, but it is an idea. The other idea, and I hate to say these words, wherever he is trying to go while he sleepwalks may be where we need to go. His blood, or let me say that again, your blood, our archways, yes? Exactly. I hope to the gods that that does not imply what I think it does. But I can't quite get it out of my head. How did that thing follow us here? It followed us through the We were the ones way. that saw it first. We were the only ones to see on. it in those caves. It came through. How did it find it here? It can go invisible, and it's not magical, so we can't... I've been even know for know. over a year. It's probably How building up strength. Stop something without being seen. Mm. I don't think what we're I'm solving anything by asking questions that, that we don't I really have the don't answers to. I don't want to say the words. Exactly. I don't want to say the words, but I'm going to say it. That thing might be leading you somewhere where it can use you. That doesn't make sense because she could just take him wherever. He had already said that mm. once. Who got dragged away? A few nights before it was Basil and I had to run. The only thing that I was able to follow her was but it hasn't the screaming voices. And able to touch him. The capabilities there is my point. Mm. And myself and Sharik saw men in full plate get picked up by their necks and have their necks snapped. So the strength of there, if she wanted to pick him up and drag him to a location, she could. But why hasn't it? She's got an iron grip. If it wants him, why hasn't it? We're speculating and getting nowhere. Mm. I agree. One thing I just wanted to bring up, like, though, um, what do you need us to make? It seems like that instead that that the fire and the other seems to hurt the blood, correct? I will, as you said, destroy it. The antifungal isn't a guarantee cure. It would kill the man. She would need time I'm to... Talking about, I'm talking about her. Not him. Her. That... In theory, we have all the fire as he said, need. it should work. We are not sure of it. But we believe it should. Just in case, we also have two weighted nets that Marcus made. So we can yeah. try and get them in place. We need to make some of that stuff so we have it, just in case. Even if it don't work, it's worth a try. A suggestion yeah. would be to have Tang be near you in the event that you do your walk again. The one being that can't sleep might be possible to follow you should you go for another one of your nightly strolls. She can grab him too. At the very least, you'll be safe. If there's nothing else, I have to return to work. Mm. Don't forgive me. Sorry. Thank Where you. Do I? Oh, mm. um... She can grab him and move uh, the way to tank. Um... Oh, come, come, come on. 
I can tell uh, you that for a fact, uh, yeah, because when she tried to drown me, going up with you, I just gotta shoot. she jumped in after me yeah. and she threw him out into the Very ocean. Busy, Against the current. What has to do with this on your chest? She pulls out two big talons. I've been told these are griffin. I don't want to see you wandering off. It's rare viscera that I can use, but I just want to make sure before I destroy and use it, it doesn't mean anything to you. I know. We should get back. Use it. But if anything, I don't have any tomorrow will be the second to last day. I know, I don't believe anyone has. We're all just as questionable within this shit as we all are right now. Tang, if you're remaining here, a copy of Elen's not for him. It's rare viscera, but I don't know if it's an actual griffin talent or not. Right. I didn't want to destroy it until, mm. you know. <sighs> if you need it and use it, I suppose. I'm going to use it to make his healing potion that he wants. Of all of this. Sounds good. Thoughts I had. Something must have happened. Hmm. Waste of fucking time. Okay. Alright. So we'll go from there, okay? Um Where did Veshin go? Left. Oh, we did see that door. oh, left. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm gonna head outside and get to work. I gotta get those potions. Um, I will let you know if any of your things have been answered yet. So, Ma, can you take but, away vanilla. your phone? I'd like to have a little I do, I, I do want you to be around. And where I was placed this morning? gets answered. Might answer some of At the very least, if you were walking through the farmlands, farmlands, then you may have left Ooh. some sort no of a place to be controlled. No promises, but I'll try to be available. Uh, the, Whatever. At the very least, I'd like to see where it was you walked. Come with you. Okay. In what direction you were headed? Uh, let me get my. Uh, at the very least, I can do see what it comes of that. Well, in the event that you end up doing it again, perhaps we'll find you in a similar area. Understood. This is all for your own safety, lad. At the very least, I want to know what the fuck is going on. <clears throat> that was pointless. <sighs> fucking cunts. Yes, it was. Some people just run their fucking mouths too much with useless shit. Yeah. I'm going to get my own answers out of Soma later. And then I'll let you and your father know anything that I find out. Whatever works. If you want to find something out, find out what happened to the people she attacked. If they turn... We literally can. Then she wouldn't need Soma. They're dead. God. Not the guard. She doesn't leave anyone alive. That's true. It was the guard that she attacked that they blamed on Sif. That person lived too. It was too dark. What do you that mean? That guard wouldn't have seen anything. <clears throat> no, I'm... He probably isn't any the wiser. I'm asking you to figure out if he's taking any symptoms. Mm, they've he's not, not been infected. Look, sir. Frieza could infect people. We would have been infected a long time ago. We're already infected. She's remember. cut us both. It's different. It's not the same. Completely different. It's new. It's fast. It's Are we talking about the volatile. new Volatile. It... Right. <clears throat> yes. Sorry.